Hey, how you going everybody? Welcome to this episode of cooking session of the mud crabs that I cooked the other day. Uh, today I'm gonna share with you with one of my famous chili mud crab recipes. Yeah, for those who don't know how to cook chili mud crabs or want to cook something similar besides the basics like boiling, check out this recipe. It's delicious. Okay, as you can see here, what I've prepared earlier is the mud crabs and the mud crab butter or fat, as you like to call it. You're definitely gonna need this because that's the flavor of it all. So what I've done is I have um, opened up the mud crab and get the butter out from uh, the body as you can see there yeah for those who don't know what this is this is like the fat on uh, let's say on your lamb cutlets or your pork belly rashes there's the white fat around it that's what it is on the crab so if some people tell you that oh it's eggs they're wrong it's because they're male crabs they don't have eggs all right it's a fat uh, and you just take the fat out from just around here okay just take them all out and you can see the carcasses there and then uh, the eight crabs here all right now they're all cut in half here's my big 19 centimeter 15 kilo mud crab. Look at the size of that, eh? Oh. Sorry, did I say 15 kilo? 15, uh, 1.5 kilo, kilos. <laughs> 15 kilos, what am I saying? Now, once we've done all this, they're just all cut in half. We need to barbecue it. All right. Okay, we just fired up the barbie. Uh, definitely needs a bit of a clean. <laughs> Been cooking so much on it. Uh, it's all fired up. Close the lid. It'll make sure it reaches about 350 degrees, as you see. Uh, yeah, 350 degrees. When it reaches down there, it means the barbie's nice and hot, and then we're ready to barbie the crabs. Okay, let's put them in. Now the idea is to make sure. You don't overcook the crabs, okay? So never overcook it. Roughly about two minutes on each side. I got a timer. All right, coming up on two minutes. Let's just have a look. Okay, it's still a bit green, not as hot. So these ones over this side here, it's got the grate. They're gonna cook a bit quicker. So you gotta watch these ones. The ones over here where it's on the plate, uh, doesn't heat up as quick, so you gotta turn these ones just a little bit sooner than the others. Yeah. There we go. Now you don't want to overcook it, all right? Because when you overcook it, you can't go back. But if you undercook it, you can always hit it again on the flame or in the barbie or however you do it to get it right. So you always got a second chance. Well, you always got plenty of chances when you 
Um, undercook it, but you got no chance when you overcook it. Yeah. Okay. I'll flip this one. These are the ones that I didn't flip before. That's probably time to flip them. Switch them around. Should cook a bit sooner than the others. You see, they need to be completely red. This one's slightly bit green, so it's not fully cooked yet. I need to put him in a bit longer. Some areas of the barbie is a bit hotter than others. So some are already cooked, some are not. So this one seems to be pretty good. Put this one up here. This one looks right as well. Remember, not overcooked, all right? We'll use a little bit more there. You'll notice them being uh, cooked, overcooked is when they become really light, okay? When they become really light, it means they're overcooked. So they need to have a bit of weight in them still. Okay. These ones are slightly lighter than the others now because they're overcooked. Well, not overcooked, but cooked. Okay. Some crabs were bigger than the others, so it all depending. Okay, this is the big monster. The big 1.5 kilo monster. He needs to be put in separate, it needs to be cooked differently, this guy. 1.5 kilo monster. Alrighty. Three minute coming up, let's have a look at him. Look at that, he's still not even red yet. Still needs a bit. You don't want to boil it as well. So if you guys do boil it, you know, there's a lot of water in boiling, and then when you cook it in this way, when you stir fry in a minute, it adds a lot of water to it, and then it just sterilizes the flavor. It doesn't taste good. This barbecue way actually gives it that nice charish flavor to it as well. So another tick to the recipe. Also, just another tip: if you overcook it, it becomes hard to take the meat out of the shells. Okay it all dries up and sticks to the inside of the shell and then you'll have trouble picking them out. So for not overcooking it, you just release the meat from the shell and then it's easy to pull out, okay? So just make sure you don't overcook it because it becomes horrible, okay? Horrible. I like to just chuck them in the fridge here to cool them down a bit. There you go. Now we have them all chilled, slightly chilled, so it's easy to touch and easy to peel. So you can see. Now we'll have to pluck all the meat out. Now, for a meal like these, mud crabs, I believe that such delicacy and how expensive they are, they should always be respected and treated with love and care, okay? Mud crabs, I reckon boiling it is a waste, I reckon. Because something's so expensive, you're just boiling it, it's, ah, you know, it's not really worth it, you know. You want to cook something delicious from it. Eating mug crabs requires time and patience to prepare, but it is rewarding once you prepare it right and cook it right. It's fantastic. So that's how I see it. A meal like this, a crab like this, should always be cooked perfectly. And the most delicious meals. Okay, now let me just show you how we take uh, the meat out of this crab. What I like to do, now we've got the heart there, pull the shell out, just crack a little bit. Yeah, nope. Yeah, look at all that meat, eh? Beautiful. Uh, 
all the meat just comes off. Beautiful. Nothing wasted. There you go, the nipper. Oh, damn, it's not that full, the nipper. Look at that guys, look at that, Hey, right? look at that, look at all that meat, that is beautiful nipper meat. Okay. Crab me out, come on, out you come. That's it. Oh, look at that, eh? Beautiful. Can't go wrong with that. Big knuckles, that's where all the lovely meat is. Oh. Crab crackers broke. So much for that. There you go. Oh, there you go. Crab is stronger than metal. Another proof there, it's all broken. Look at that, guys. That's only half a crab. Half a small one. And that's the meat. Look at that. Delicious. And also, don't forget why you're doing all this. A beer is always good. Have a beer while you're doing it because it's going to be a while and uh, you got to enjoy what you're doing too. Mmm. Eh? Let's get into it, eh? <laughs> Guys, we're just going to see how much meat we get from this big 1.5 kilo buck on the other episode, okay? Play ready, yeah? See how much we get eh, after I finish with it. Shows off. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Pluck the meat out of here. My God, boys, look at that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. This is just only from the knuckle, guys. The knuckle only. Look at that. Clean, crisp, every time. Oh, oh. Cap. Oh. 
and get a nice clean break. Look at that, hey? Eh? Bloody beautiful. Fantastic. All right, guys, we have finally finished. Just took me about oh, two and a half hours, almost by myself, doing the whole eight crabs. Everything schmick clean, nothing left in the bones. Have a look at that, eh? Look at that. all the crevices. Everything smeak clean. Don't want to waste anything. So, I thought I'd just share with you how much meat I got out of those eight crabs. Here's the bowl there. We just tar it there, zero. And the meat, look at that, eh? Beautiful. Now this is just the seven crabs. I got the big the big one over here too, that I'm going to weigh, see how much heat we get out of him. These are all the other crabs. Let's have a look. Okay. 1.215 kilos of meat! That is a lot of crab meat. Okay guys, the moment we've been waiting for. The big one. Let's have a look how much we get out of him. Okay. Tar the plate. Zero. And the meat. The big one. Look at that. Okay. Let's go all out. And of course, the two mass nippers. Look at that. Eh? Yeah. Look at this big one. Yeah, look at that. 490 grams. Beautiful. Almost half a kilo of meat. Take a couple of grams off for those nippers that are um, up on top of there. But bloody hell, that is a feast. So on top of that. Two meals you can see there. Almost two kilos of crab meat. Almost two kilos. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! <laughs> okay. The cooking part. Let's have a look. Yeah, first, you got the crab meat. Beautiful. It's about oh, 400 grams. A uh, tablespoon and a half of uh, garlic and ginger. Bird's eye chili with just a bit of fish sauce. Bird's eye chili. I like the spicy stuff. And chopped coriander and shallots. There. Yeah. Just about a small bunch each there. And you'll need your ground chili fried garlic. Just make sure it's this one here. Have a good look. Yeah, this is the best one. There are many other brands, but they're not as good. So, let's have a look. In the pan goes a bit of olive oil. Probably about, be generous about it. Two teaspoons. There you go. Okay, what I have here is the crab butter. Okay. Now make sure your wok is really hot. Gas is probably the best option. Okay, nice and hot guys, that's what you want, nice and hot. If your pot is not hot enough, you don't know, you can test it with that a little bit. There you go, then when you hear that sound, that crisp, you're on. Okay, first up. In with the chili and garlic, so you'll probably need about two. Two teaspoons of fried chili and garlic. Your normal garlic and ginger. You need more free, you need fresh garlic as well to make it taste good. And ginger, they are firing away. 
straight away you hear the aroma. Oh, beautiful. You really smell that coming again. A nice golden brown. If it, it tends to dry up a little bit, you can always add a little bit more olive oil. I like using olive oil because it's much healthier. It's meant to be a healthy dish. Okay. Make sure the garlic and ginger crispen up a little bit. Oh, that is to die for. Okay. Now if it's nice and hot, it doesn't take long. In goes your crab. Remember when our crab season, don't overcook it because this will cook it. Crab goes in. Look at that. Once it's peeled, you don't have to do much at all. Stir it up. Lovely. And the crab butter. So, you won't need all of these. These are only, uh, you probably need half because um, I'm not using all the crab. One crab has its own oil. Chuck that in there. Look at that. Look at it come to fruition now, eh? There you go. I like using a bit of fresh bird's eye chili with a bit of fish sauce, but you guys can skip this one. I like chili, so I like it spicy, so I like to use a bit of spice. There you are, plenty. There you are. Freshly bird, fresh bird's eye chili from the garden, and just a bit of fish sauce in there as well. Okay. Season the taste. Salt and pepper seasoning the taste there. Always use cracked pepper, okay? Cracked pepper's the best. Yeah, be generous about it. Don't be shy. Seasoning is what you want. A lot of people don't season their foods. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. Now, in goes the herbs, right at the end. There we are. Mix it up. And the lucky last, about one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Now that's the last one, so let's chuck it all in here. About a tablespoon or two, bit of oyster sauce that was. And that's it, eh? Look at that. And that's it. Turn the gas off. And that's rare to surf. Delicious. There you go, guys. This meal, I can guarantee you, anybody will enjoy. I reckon it's definitely better than a Singaporean chili mud crab that people were hyped up about. That's got a lot of tomato taste flavor. That's all it is, really. But once you try this one, you'll never go back to Singaporean chili crab. This is the best one, and I've tried many. Martu, you see that sauce starting to ooze out now when it's cooling down? Serve it with some steamed rice. I use, I like to use uh, basmati rice because there's less fat. You can use, you know, jasmine, there's a lot of fat in that. Or, you wanna get fancy, use sticky glutinous rice. Get that up nice and sticky, and you just dip in that, and eat it with your hands. Oh, bellissimo, Mwah. beautiful. You guys gotta try this. If you guys have never had this before, I can guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, a meal fit for the king. Make sure you guys try this out. If you guys like it, don't forget to leave a comment. If you guys tried it, don't forget to leave a comment. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh my God. It is absolutely fantastic. You can't stop. I gotta go. See you later.